Vamos! So, hey guys! Today's video I'm so so excited because I'm gonna be doing, wait for it, a DIY room decor inspired by Harry Potter. Yes. Yes, I know. I'm so excited. They are all super cute and super simple and like really, not like really really Harry Potter, they are just like normal tumbler and normal room decors but with a little twist and with a little things that you know that are from Harry Potter. So I really love them and I really hope you like it. So let's get into the video. Next. So the first item we're gonna be doing is like the little snitch catcher. And what you're gonna do is take your Ferrero Rocher and take all, all of the paper. And with another paper, you're gonna smash that out and make a ball. After that, you're gonna cover with the paper of the Ferrero Rocher. And you can help that with a glue gun. So after that you're gonna draw uh, wings in your state paper and after you've done one you're gonna cut it and you're gonna copy the, the same size for another one. Once you and now you're just gonna take your permanent pen in black and draw a little like waves in your wing to give the more expected look. And you can like see what you want from an image on Google or something, it gets a lot more easy. Now put that in a mason jar and you are ready to go. I really love this one because I don't know, I just love the simplicity and the, I don't know, I just really like it. Now for the pillow of books, to create the Tom Riddle's diary, you're gonna take a black notebook and with a pen, you're gonna write the Tom Riddle's words in the, the side. And I also did it in the front, but you don't really need it because it, it won't see it. Now to create the Hogwarts one history one, you're gonna Take just a big book and kind of wrap it with any paper and I just advise to use a brown paper because it gives the more effect of a book but you can also use any other paper. And after that you're gonna just write again on the side over its one history and you are to the file and you are ready to go. Here's a few things that you'll need. 
so now you're gonna print a uh, paper with the word always and with your fabric you could measure the size that you want that you want to your pillow now cut the fabric with the right size and with your glue gun you're gonna glue all the sides this one because then you'll need to fill it the pillow Now for the always word, you're gonna cut the inside, not the outside, because you're gonna need the outside. So cut it, I think it will take like a little time, but with some music and stuff, you can do it. I believe you. <laughs> I'm kidding. After that you're just gonna put a paper in the middle of the fabric and with white um, paint fa for fabric and the sponge you're gonna paint all over the, the world. Once that's done you're just gonna take off the paper, fill in the pillow and glue the sides and you're done. And actually, I really love it. I love the fact that the letters kind of look like rustic and vintage. And I really love the pillow and I really hope you like it too. To find the words West Brothers, where couldn't it be one of the butterflies? And we'll cut them. And after, you're gonna cut a pencil. Butterfly shapes and with the scissors, do that with ideas <laughs> and with plastic and <laughs> And I actually did another DIY, but I really didn't have time enough to do it in this video. But if you want me, leave in the comments below and I will definitely do it. So, I hope you like this video. I really love it to do it. And if you, wanna, if you want me to do more Harry Potter DIYs or stuff, let me know because I will definitely do it. And I really hope you like it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up because then I will know it. And if you have any any requests that videos that I that you wanna that you want me to do, you can ask me, and I will try to do it really really soon. So leave that in the comments below, and I will read them. And yeah, I, hope you, I really hope you like it, and I will see you next time. Bye.